Hello everyone. I'm actually addressing uh, an update to uh, some of the, uh, the flashlight tactical uh, accessories that I actually carry. Um, I talked initially about uh, the Olight SR90. It was made by Olight and compared that with a new item that I found, which was an Ace Beam uh, X80GT. And I owned both of those particular um, tack lights. The uh, SR90 was intimidating by its look. And it was functional, uh, but I felt I needed a little bit more than 2200 illuminations. It actually did a good beam, it did a good spread, nothing wrong with the SR90. In my opinion, there's more out there. And I wanted uh, what would keep me safe. I don't want what will just work. I want what would work well, what would work to my satisfaction and peace of mind, because that's one of the biggest issues that, you know, officers face is, do I have what I need? And I believe that I do have what I need now. With the SR90, I had something that would work for its task. If I was just searching for things, but keeping me safe, I didn't believe it would do the job. I'd rather not, you know, have that item. And also it's bulky. I couldn't walk around with it and be conspicuous, you know, like you would with wearing your uh, tackle lights on your belt. And so uh, I compared the two and showed the difference. The 2200 uh, lumens was dwarfed by the 32,500 lumens that the, uh, the X80 GT had. And number one, it had 18 LEDs. The SR90 had one and the X80 GT had 12 uh, flood uh, lights or LEDs and had six center um, throw flood lights. It was just a lot of power. Um, and I showed how they differed. Uh, they had the same tactile reference, low, high, and uh, 10 hertz. The uh, X80 GT had four different settings, four additional settings. And they both had their safety switch. When you press it and hold it, it'll show twice. I didn't show that on the video, but if you press it and hold it, it'll light twice. And that'll let you know that it's locked. You lock it so if somebody gets a hold of it, it will not be able to be used against you. And to use it again, you hold the button and it, you know, flashes again and now it's in user mode. Um, after I did that, I compared the two lights, uh, the W30 and the X80 GT. Since the X80 GT has proven to be a very good light as far as the uh, competition between that and the SR90, I just wanted to see if it was worthy of uh, being competed with the W30, if there was enough benefits or detriments, should I put one aside? Um, and in my opinion, the uh, close tactical reference of the X80 GT, it, I would probably use that. But what I carry, because it, it does more, I can see further, I can uh, use infrared, not infrared, yeah, infrared, the red filter on the front of the tack light. It's built more like a baton. It's easier to carry on my uh, duty belt or personal belt. Uh, I carry the W30. I carry it. It's lighter. It has less lumens. It doesn't get as hot. There's pluses to the W30, and there are minuses to the W30 when you compare it to the X80 GT, but the W30 is easier to carry on my uh particular belt. So I feel comfortable walking around regularly with a double uh, cuff case with stagnated um, uh, you know, sessions for uh, the back uh, cuff is lower, the upper is for the front cuff. So you know that you're definitely grabbing uh, one set of cuffs so you won't have to fumble with that. And in front of that, I have uh, the Black Ops optical uh, holster. It could work with a uh, black op optical uh, tackle light, which is probably what it's made for, black ops, black hawk, black hawk optical. But um, I use it with the W30. And I like the way it sits in the holster. Um, it sits up. Uh, the base is sitting down and the, 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 the lamp reference is facing up. And it fits. It fits. I feel comfortable driving with it. I gave it a little time to 
see how I felt, if I felt like it was pinching or if I was going to be able to get out and get in uh, without causing any issues to the, the holster itself and it functions, it really does. So this is what it looks like. It has a silicone strap around the front of it. And there's the bottom and it goes up. It has a tab right here, which I keep concealed because when you take that off, it just has a lip. Like if you actually work with changing batteries, you know, when you actually push the lid in, it snaps. This has that kind of lip that it just catches a silicone strap and then you can just let it go. And on this side, it has catchers on each side. Looks like a T. And then you can just let it up or let it down. And you won't have to worry about it getting in your way. Or you can just leave it there when you pop out your light if you don't have time. And this allows for the X the, the W30 uh, to just set in there. And there's the bulb, the, the lens part that I was telling you about in the back end that I was telling you about previously. And I didn't have to take that part out. Remember in the last video I told you that some people wonder about that. I don't have to worry about that anymore. I can just set that in there, pop it in, latch this over, and I'm done. I do keep a belt loop in between my cuff case and my tack lamp case. So it actually holds better. And then I just cover up that lip right there. So nobody will know that that's where it is. And I just hold it. So it's very, very comfortable. It's very, very applicable. It has extra uh, rubber covering on the bottom, so it's ready for function, whatever you need it to do. I like it. I really, really do. It snaps into place and that silicone strap keeps it secure. It's, it's a nice, nice holster for the W30. I just thought I'd share that because the uh, X80 GT, like I told you before, it's like a Coke can, so it's pretty large. Um, but when you talk about the X80, you know, the W30, uh, it's a small barrel. It'll fit easier on your belt. I found myself using this a little bit more, like I said at first, but I still keep the, uh, the X80 uh, nearby. And if I have my full duty belt, I'll still keep both of them. Uh, but I just use this on light work where I won't possibly need the strobe effect or the bright lights just in case. Uh, I keep this. Um, the W30 uh, on my light work. Um, but yeah, I thought it would be fair to just show you the options that you could have in carrying your tag lights. You don't have to carry it on a strap. Uh, you don't have to carry it in your pocket. You don't have to carry it inside of your belt between your pants and your belt. Um, you can actually get a holster for it that fits very well. It's not expensive and uh, it makes you look very professional. I like the look. I like the feel. I like the function. It's a good Good holster. Okay, so what I've done is I've actually taken the W30 off the belt, and I'm gonna show you uh, several different advantages of it. Um, starting with what I told you before, the lip, it just pops off. How it pops out, that's done. And you get to see on the inside, there's a screw mount there. You can tilt this how you want to tilt it on your belt. There's screws here and here. But you don't access them this side, on this side. There's a catch where this will fit, like I said, on your duty belt or on your uh, you know, regular belt because there's a lip on the inside that adds pressure. You don't need the foam. Remember the old ones had foam in it where it actually be an addition to this if you needed it. There's a catch right here. 
Same kind of catches if you were changing the batteries. And I use that as a reference because a lot of people might know that. And you grab underneath and you push up and pull away and it pops open. And there you have the three screws that I told you about previously. One, two, and three. And you have different holes around them to position what you would like the uh, baton or tack light to sit. So you could, uh, if you wanted it to sit forward, you could set it up to do that. If you wanted to sit back, you could set it up to do that. If you wanted to sit the optical reference, I mean the optional reference down, you could do that. Now just for reference, this is something I found out today. And I'm, I know I'm probably late. Some of you tack and, and special ops and so forth, all of you guys. Don't judge me. I'm not that guy, okay? I'm just talking about lights. Not, you know, AR-15s with cyberscopes and all. We talk about lights. That, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about lights. But uh, this is your center. It's called the center. There's a position called the one, and there's a position called the two. I recommend you look that up. That really doesn't mean anything right now, but when you're talking about self-defense, it's important to find your center, it's important to find your ones, and it's important to find your twos, just off-center, basically, so that when somebody's coming at you, you can actually come down that particular way. This particular uh, holster is set up that way, where it can be set up for your one or your two, or your center. It's a tactical holster. That's why I mentioned that, okay? Also, Look at the build of this. It's, it's not, remember the big block backs, the shiny plastic backs that used to be on the, these? And the catch is not, is, was not as good as this. This is a good holster. I like this. It's got drainage inside the holster, so just in case water gets to it, it won't. Um, get inside your tack light. And the pressure of this is not great, but it's secure. So this is the Blackhawk Night Ops holster for a tack light. 